My name is Mishka Banuri. I am the daughter of Pakistani Muslim immigrants. Um, and I think Utah is really overlooked when it comes to the environmental injustice issues that it faces. And we often have to look to ourselves to find those solutions. Um, and there are a lot of local initiatives that address some of the problems, but they leave out young people and their visions and the brunt that they'll face for the climate crisis. Um, and my organization uh, called Utah Youth Environmental Solutions, otherwise known as UES, we believe that young people need to be included, trained, and educated in order for Utah to have uh, a just um, future. And so we believe that the best way to do this is um, through intergenerational collaboration and creating spaces that is for youth and by youth. So I am Muslim and my faith is one of the things that got me interested in environmental stewardship. Um, in Utah there was a conference called the Parliament of World Religions that came and there was a whole plenary on interfaith and I was really, con there's a whole plenary on climate change and I was confused about why climate change and interfaith were like being talked about in the same space but um, what was made clear to me was uh, no matter the conflicts that we have, we all have this one earth, like this one place that we can all fight for. Um, and I got involved with the organization in 2017 when they introduced legislation basically recognizing climate change uh, because previously the state legislature had denied climate change and saying that we didn't have enough science. And so students wrote up their own legislation and resolution um, acknowledging climate change and then introduced it into the legislature and worked on it for two years and then it passed. Um, so that was the main project that we started off with working on and now we're working on other projects now. I think a lot of what UES is doing is motivating young people to take their actions um, and features into their own hands um, because a lot of people in power are not doing what they need to what they need to to protect our futures and so we're moving the, the conversation away from individual action, although living sustainable lifestyles is important, but also um, holding systems accountable and creating alternative systems that we can rely on for our future. Um, and so the climate resolution that we passed was just the first step, and now we're using it as a way to get um, further action done. So now we recognize climate change, and now we actually have to do something about it. So um, that's mainly the work that we're doing and also trying to support people on the front lines um, that are bearing the brunt of the climate impacts and extraction impacts that are already happening in Utah.